Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. If you are new here, how's it going? How are you feeling? You feeling good? Are you feeling good? Alright, so in today's video, I'm going to film a little eyeliner tutorial for you all. You know, I've gotten a couple comments here and there about how I do my winged eyeliner. So I figured I had makeup on from today, which let me just tell you, I haven't put makeup on in probably two a good two weeks. Um, a lot of that has to do with the fact that if you have been watching the news lately, you know that Texas tragically was hit with a very strong hurricane, um, turned into a tropical storm, and it did flood. It destroyed Rockport. It destroyed a lot of the coastline. Um, Houston is flooded. People lost their homes, their cars. They've lost their lives. And it's hard to talk about because it's all... It's all anyone's been watching on the news for, what, a week now? It's definitely so heartbreaking, especially feeling like you're helpless, like you can't do anything about it. Luckily, I'm very fortunate. My family's very fortunate that nothing happened to our house. Um, I can't thank God enough for that. So yeah, that's why I... That's, that's why I haven't put makeup on. I haven't felt a need to put makeup on. There's just no point. I've, we've been stuck in our house, um, which most people have um, that still have a home. So like I said, I'm so grateful that I still have a home. A lot of people can't say that. And a lot of people, I don't know, it's just, it's really a hard time right now for Texas. But the one thing that just came out of this is that so many people have come together to help Texas. And it makes me emotional, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get into it because I'm gonna start crying, and then this is all gonna come off, and the video, <laughs> video's ruined. <laughs> but um, so many people have came to Texas from all parts of the world to help us and help victims just rebuild, and I'm so thankful for everybody. I'm gonna make some kind of donation to. Um, the hurt, the damage that's been done from Hurricane Harvey. Oh, of course, my fucking diva of a cat has to just pop in. But yeah, if you guys want to leave any kind of donation, whether it be a dollar, ten dollars, whatever you guys can donate, um, I'm gonna leave um a link down below. It's not the Red Cross because I've heard some sketchy shit about the Red Cross, so I don't recommend the Red Cross. Um, if you know J.J. Watt, he is, he plays for the Texans and he has raised over, I think, I think we're at like $8 million right now from his funds, from people donating. There's been like so many people coming together to help. So yeah, I'm going to leave his link down below. If you want to donate, you can. If not, you don't have to. Don't feel the pressure to. Um, just a quick prayer, whether you believe in prayer or not or just well wishes greatly appreciated and just know if any of my texas subscribers are watching right now if they're able to watch i my heart is with you i'm so sorry that this has to happen but we will regrow we will rebuild this beautiful city and this beautiful state and yeah that is all i'm gonna say like i said i'll leave any links down below if you want to check them out to donate yourself and wow that got off on a long rant <laughs> That kind of sums up why I haven't worn makeup in however long. So anyways, I finally put makeup on today for the first time in forever. And yeah, I'm going to basically show you how I do my eyeliner. So if you want to see a little quick tutorial on how I do my winged eyeliner and you kind of want to see how it's done. And if you're trying to like work on your eyeliner, I can give you some kind of tips and tricks. Um, yeah, so if you want to see that video, then just please keep watching. Alright guys, so I zoomed you in so you can get, you know, the feel for what we're fixing to do. Now there's two different ways you can go about this. Actually, there's like three different ways that you can go about it. But um, the two, I'm only going to do one, which is the one I usually do, but I'm going to give you the other option. So the other option is to use like a gel eyeliner and like a little small um, liner brush. So this is the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner, which you've seen a lot of people use. It's really good, but mine's... Mine's dried out, so we're not gonna use that today, okay? Okay. You can use like some kind of like oil to rejuvenate that and bring it back to life, but we're just not gonna do that today, so 
But yeah, that's another option. The Maybelline is what? It's only, I don't remember how much this is. This is like five or six dollars at the drugstore. So that is definitely a really good option. The brush that I use for that is the Sigma Winged Liner Brush, the E06. I like it because it's an angle, but it's really small. So when you do it, it's not going to be like too thick when you originally go in. Too thick. That's what she said. Shay says that those jokes are so 2012 or 2000 and when the fuck ever. But you know what? People still say them. They're still funny. I'm still going to keep saying them. Okay. Okay. So the liner that I'm going to use today to show you how to do this is the Stila, uh, what do you call it? Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. This is like my favorite eyeliner ever. It's a felt tip liner. I just find these really easy to use. So that's what we're going to use today. I'm, I like to shake it up. To make sure I get the most pigment. The one I really loved, I don't think I have any more. One that I was obsessed with was the NYC Liquid Liner. It was so good. But NYC discontinued it from my understanding. And if you want to buy it, you have to go on Amazon to buy it. Yeah. So that's inconvenient. The um, retails for like, I guess I should have zoomed out to tell you all this shit. Whatever. So the Stila um, liquid eyeliner retails for I believe $24 which is on the pricey side. So you definitely do not need to buy this. There's so many alternatives. Just This is my favorite one. So, okay, so what I do, I used to start with the wing and then bring it in. But I found that it helps to map out on the, the lash line first before I go in and do the wing. So I start, I don't know if you can see, I start in the inner corner. And I kind of just start drawing a line up top, but I make it as thick as I want the liner to be. So I draw that. I'm trying to do this to where you guys can see, but I'm like concentrating as well. So you just make sure. And this is going to kind of give you a map. So you basically just draw your line. You can smooth it out, or you can wait till you draw your wing to smooth it out, because you're going to be going anyways to smooth it out. Mine's not perfectly smooth right now, but we're going to draw the wing and then worry about smoothing it out. So now that you kind of have where you're going to end it, how I start is I start from the outer corner of my eyelid, and I tend to draw up, depending on like if you want it more like flicked up, you can draw it not quite like straight out, draw it more towards your brow. But if you want it more like like straight out, you won't go quite towards your brow. You go a little, you'll angle it down just a little bit. I'm going to start from the corner of my eyelid. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to start flicking it up. Like so. And you can just start like this. It doesn't have to be perfect. Definitely don't like put a bunch of pressure down at first. I definitely would flick. And then, like, map it out first, and then you can go and intensify it. Now that that's mapped out, I'm just going to darken it up a little bit. And I typically do my wings when I'm not wearing foundation, but I already have foundation on, so it's, but it's fine. Once you have, like, your basic, like, line drawn on your wing, you're going to go down. I'm going to go ahead and draw the line down. So I don't start quite at the tip because if you start up here if you start like at the top of the wing and you draw down it's going to be way too thick of a wing so go down like just a little bit and then connect you know just connect it to that bottom line like that and it's okay if you see that because then we're just going to kind of clean it up it's all kind of like a connect the dots type of thing. So depending on how big you want the wing to go, you can do come out further or come in further or closer, depending on like I said, if you want it thicker or smaller. I like my wings to be kind of medium. Sometimes they get thick because I I go a little crazy. And 
And then I'm going to go ahead and flip this up just a little bit. Because I feel like the, it's not sharp enough. Oop. And see, if you go out too far, like I feel like I just did, we're going to clean it up. So don't worry about that. But yeah, so just mainly focusing on cleaning up your edges. Which is kind of why I like a felt tip. Because I feel like I have a little more control over the felt tip versus like a brush... Like a liquid liner brush. I feel like I don't have much control over those because my hands move out like the real fidgety. I don't have a straight hand. And guys, I'm not perfect at my wings by any means. It's definitely always a struggle. I don't know. There's probably been maybe two times in my makeup journey that I've just hit it right on the nail. Nail on the head. So a lot of people to clean up the wing if they have um makeup on already they'll like to use a concealer to clean it up now me on the other hand i like to use whatever foundation i use because i feel like concealer if you just do a line right there it's you're gonna notice it more so i take the foundation that i use so i use this one today the pro glow so i take just a small amount of it and i take my i take my sigma flat shader brush this is what i use to carve my brows out if you can see that. And I take my foundation and I put just, I don't even think I squared on my hand. I just take just the littlest amount from the cap onto the edge. And I even tap some of it off on my hands. I really don't like going in with a lot. So what I do now is I just take the flat brush and I just barely touch up against it. And... Voila! Now you can cut a bitch. Okay, and if you're wondering, Emily, you there was eyeshadow there and you kind of destroyed it. What you do is you take the eyeshadow brush you were using and you just don't put any extra product on it. You just use what was on there. And you blend it right back where that is. I'm going to get you closer so you can see it. It's definitely not perfect by any means, but sometimes it's as good as it gets. So, yeah, I'm going to zoom you. Actually, I'm kind of already zoomed in, so. But I'm going to let you, I'm going to get even closer so you can see what it's working with, okay? Okay. So, this is the wing. In all its glory. It's definitely not perfect. Alright, guys, so I'm going to fast forward through the next eyeliner really quick. I just mainly wanted to show you on one eye. And to show you how I did it. Guys, I will be right back. Let me fast forward through this real quick. Here is the wing I did on camera. And here is the one I fast forwarded through. Um, they could be... Zoom in. They could be a little more even. But that happens. It's reality. Wings aren't the easiest thing in the world to do. So basically, I just want to put it out there that these things aren't as easy as people make it seem. And you're going to have trial and error a bunch. And a couple tricks that um, I can give you is the tape method, which is you just take like scotch tape or something and you just tape it to where you want the wing to start. And you can trace it like that um, if you're starting out. Um, and once you get more comfortable, you can start doing it on your own. And it really comes down to one, trying to have more of a steady hand, which I struggle with. Which What's good though is that you have makeup wipes. I even, sign he's a camera whore. He's like his mama. Use makeup wipes to clean it off if you don't have any makeup on. These are the Sephora coconut wipes, but you can use the Neutrogena wipes, which is what I usually use, but I have those. Um, so if you don't have any makeup on, you can definitely clean it up like that. Or if you've already put your makeup on, you can definitely take a flat brush and some concealer or your foundation. Like I said, I prefer my foundation just so it, it doesn't look so harsh. Like it doesn't look like you, t you know, purposely cleaned it up. Yeah, but the whole point of me saying all that was just to let you know that there is ways around, like, if you're just starting out, if you're trying to get the hang of it. So, there's definitely a bunch of other tutorials. You don't just have to watch mine, but I'm appreciative that you're here. But yeah, so the tape method, um, also, like, the, the, using, like, makeup wipes to clean it up. And then the brush technique. Guys, that is my eyeliner tutorial, 101 tutorial, whatever you want to call it. I'm bringing it to you. So, yeah. Anybody that's ever wondered how I do my eyeliner, that is how I do it. There's definitely a bunch of tutorials out there. So, keep practicing, keep researching. 
and yeah I love you guys so much thank you so much for being here and watching my video like I said um, I'm gonna leave a link down below to where you can donate to um, Harvey victims um, it's definitely crazy down here but just it, like I said if you can't donate any money that's fine whether you, it's a dollar ten dollars if you can't donate anything just as long as you keep us in your prayers or whether you believe in that or not just think about what's going on down here and make sure you tell your family that you love them and anybody you care about make sure you tell them you love them because stuff like this can happen all the time let me just get off here okay okay so yeah i love you guys so much you guys have a great day or night wherever you are and i will see you in the next video bye